Oh boys and girls. But this thing right here is so thick. Another one. This is number four. What is this? Is it another? So beautiful. I knew there was more. I knew there had to be another. Yeah. This is what came out. It's thin. It just had to be another one here. On the Knox. Oh, what is this? Again, I'm on a hillside, it's pretty steep. We got jackpot with me, Pat's on his way. Uh, so far, that's three Wheaties. And look, our friend just popped up 62D. All right. All right, Mr. Rosie. There they are. I can barely see them. <laughs> you know, there's so many bugs, man. They're in front of the camera. It's so bad. So, got another silver. All right, we got a Merc. It is... It is... 27. All right, cool. Merc. Oh, wait, is that a mint mark? Nope. 27 Merc and a Rose and girls. I'm out again from the spot, just in a different section. Found quite a few things here coppers, silvers, seated. Anyway, I'm swinging for a bit. So far, this big chunk just, just came out. I, mean, I thought it was an oil lamp dial, but I don't know. It still could be an old bent up. This came out. I don't know. That's a crusty penny, I believe. But this thing right here is so thin. And it has such an unusual look. Like it's a coin at one time. I mean, look how thin that is. I wonder if that could be a real. I gotta test it for silver. It's crazy how worn it is. It was by the ocean, so I'm thinking maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know. See, I see something here on the bottom. I don't know if it's me or what, but I don't know, it's freaking me out. Anyway, I just swinging for a little bit and I got a nickel signal. And I don't know what it is, I don't know what kind of nickel, but I almost didn't dig it. And it's a Jefferson, naturally. All right, well, it's been rough. You know, just uh, I'm going over a lot of areas that have been pounded. Just to give it a shot, this is a 63. Alrighty, late December. Cool. See you in a bit. Hey guys, I'm out. Again. Completely new spot for me. Never been here before. It's a small patch about... I'm gonna say 20 yards by 20 yards, maybe a little more than that. I just looked it up on uh, historic aerials and it's been the same for like 70 years. So first hole, actually second hole. First hole was a uh, clad dime. Second hole, a weedy and it was only four inches, maybe five. All right, let's see what else is here. It's part of the spill. Another one right next to it. First one was Right here. All right, all right. I knew it was going to be here. Uh, you just get that feeling. You know, you find five or six Wheaties. I got about, I think about five. And here comes the silver. It's just a rosy, but it's silver. You just get that feeling, you know? 48. All right, nice. something different. 45. That's my number, too. 45 Canadian. All right. 
Yeah, these flip side to side. I think that's uh, what, King George VI, I think? I think. All right, Canada. All right. And not really that deep. I got like six Wheaties and another silver just came out. What is it? Another rosy. I kind of expected that. You know, I'm getting late. Late Wheaties. It's a baby silver. 64 on the nose. 64D. Nice. Right, silver number three. What do we got here? Another rosy. Look at that. It's a rosy. And another baby. A 64 again. Wow. Another 64D. I think they made about 17 trillion of these. <laughs> All right, anyway, still fun. Three silvers. Another one. This is number four. What is this? Is it another? It is. A, a four rosy spot. Almost got away from me, that one. Is this another one? No, it's a 62 this time. All righty. All righty. <laughs> four rosies. That's crazy. It's a little later. I had something to eat. Took about 20 minutes to relax and went to a different spot. To the spot where I got that one real, half dollar, barber, a bunch of coppers. Crazy. And this just came out. Yeah, we're in a different time frame this time. Different time frame this time. What the heck am I saying? <laughs> yeah, flat button. Cool. A little, uh, Convex design, a little bent up though. All right, cool. Mid 1800s. Oh, it's getting late. And I'm right by a pond. It's so beautiful. I knew there was more. I knew there had to be another. Yeah. Yep. That's another copper. Wow. Yeah. A little uh, early braided. A well, late matron, I mean. I think. All right. Got a largey. So cool. Yeah, far cry from those rosies today, huh? <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Let me see if I can get a date. I'll try to clean it up for you. Give me a minute. Uh, yeah, it's not going to happen. Well, not here anyway. But yeah, I think that's a uh, matron. Cool. Oh, I love spots like these. I just keep getting older. This could be either a lead button. Oh, I hit it, I think. Or maybe a poker chip. I don't know. So cool. Okay. This just came out. Now, I can't tell if this is a really good quality watch that's just been in the ground for a really long time. Uh, maybe not. I don't see. Oh, wait. Stainless steel, Swiss made. All right, wait a minute. And this looks like really some, like, I don't know. That's some really, really good gold plating. I don't know. I can't see the name of the watch. Maybe you guys can. Man, I love this spot. This one was pretty deep. Probably about pinpointer. This is what came out. It's thin. I don't think it's US. Oh, give me something. Come on. Oh, God. Looks like a nothing so far. All right, let me let it try. Give me a minute. Maybe you see something. You know, I was starting to see something as soon as. I was about to shut that camera off. I thought I saw a bust here and uh, wait, yes, there's the bust, I think, right there. It looks like facing left. So yeah, I think I see Liberty's arm right um uh, Britannia's arm. Yeah, it looks like a a Britannia back there. The line would be right about here with the date. Oh, come on, focus. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. It's gonna dry up a little more, but cool. Colonial. Love it. Folks, it's the next day. First hole. Incredible. Nice flat button. No shank. All right, let's see what else. It just had to be another one here. It's crazy. This wasn't even that deep. 25, 26 on the knocks. Oh, what is this? Wait a minute. Is this a coin converted to a button? I think it is. Oh, man. yes, it is. Look at that. What is it? Oh my God, I don't even know what this is. It's freaking me out a little bit. Let me clean it up. Give me a minute. Okay. So I do see the M-A-R. I think this says America. Obviously, yeah, this is probably United States of America. That's the wreath in the back. Wow, what is it though? Is it a draped? Holy crap. What did they do this for? I mean, was this made into a button? Is my guess. Some kind of washer or or strap for um you know horse tack put this leather strap right in there i don't know but that is wild what the heck is it though i think stuff's starting to come through here i'm sorry i'm so close up i'm trying i'm using it as a magnifying glass for myself Trying to see if I see the fraction there. Man. All right, this needs some more cleaning. Cool. Pick's coming up. Another button. Bench shank. This one's got a back mark. This is actually my third. I got a little uh, cuff or a shirt, pocket button, collar button, very small. Cool. All right, maybe there's another coin. Let's wrap it up. A couple of silvers here in the first spot. Uh, 62 Rosie and a 27 Merc. Uh, then we got the second spot. It was another Rosie Fest, I think I called it. It was, it was crazy. I mean, I kind of expected that with these late Wheaties I was getting. And here's that uh, 45 Canadian. Uh, I believe it's a KG6, I think. I believe. This is the third spot here. Yeah, third spot was this. Uh, I tested it. It's not silver. It's nickel. But I'll never know what it is. <laughs> Crazy how thin this is. Oh, man, it's, it never fails here. Uh, we got four buttons. Um, got that gold-plated watch. This, I don't know, it could be a toy, it could be a wizard, it could be a poker chip. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if somebody would use it as a washer because it really wouldn't hold up pretty well. Um, then the first copper. Yeah, matron head. I cleaned her up a little bit, but she's pretty toasty. You could just make it out. Still very cool. Then the second copper. We got... We don't know. <laughs> it's most likely a, um, a KG, but it's so beat up, it's really, really hard to tell. And then this, this is cool. So someone, I believe, used this as a saddle strap guide. So you can, this is the side with the wreath, Sorry, I'm spinning it so much. You can make out the wreath back there with America, and it's probably United States of America around here. Um, you could just barely make out the fraction, the one over 100, but I I'm pretty sure it's a drape bust. It's just really, really toast on this side. Uh, Pat and I looked at it. You can just, I think, make out a little bit of a bow back here. 
but anyway still pretty cool you know this uh saddle adornment stuff man that was that was pretty cool for back then you know that was the thing to do you know now they do it with cars right um anyway that's the hunt here's some pics guys thanks for coming <laughs>